Hi, my name's Leo Bedford from Euphoria Frozen Yoga Company, and I'm here to talk to you about yogurt. So if you've seen the video on how to make yogurt, you'll see the issue is keeping the yogurt at exactly 108 degrees Fahrenheit during the incubation period. It's a tricky thing to do, and unless it's absolutely perfect, the, the bacteria aren't going to multiply as, as well as they might do. There's also the uh, possibility of burning the milk um, when you first raise it up to temperature. So, on the market there are loads and loads of yogurt makers that you can get, and they're all pretty similar and they're all pretty much the same, I think. I mean, you, know, you get ones for 80 pounds, you've got time you get ones for 25 pounds, you've got to do it yourself. But push comes to shove, what they all do is they uh, maintain a temperature for a certain period of time. So rather than sitting there on your hob, whisking your milk with your thermometer and that kind of stuff, all you do is, is you choose the, the jar that you want your yogurt to be in. I like a lot of people use those nice little clay jars or something like that. I think, I think the yogurt machines actually come with, uh, with the jars. And all you'll do is you'll put your milk into it, so you'll fill all the little pots up and you'll turn the yogurt machine on. What that'll do is that'll heat it up to, 100, uh, to 185 degrees Fahrenheit, which is what you want it to be. That'll then cool down, it'll cool itself down to 120 degrees, which is what it needs to be. It'll then bleep at you or whatever, and then you, uh, you add the starter, which will be your natural yogurt or your powder, like we talked about in the other video. And, um, and then it'll keep it at 108 degrees for the period of time that you want it to be, and it'll never vary, and it'll provide the absolute optimum temperature and perfect environment for the bacteria in the milk to multiply, thus turning it into yogurt. And I think that is, uh, that's how you use a yogurt maker, it just simplifies things.